So today I come to you guys yet again with another weekly review of Sakamoto Desuga. And in this week's episode, episode 10, um, there are two segments. So I'm going to speak firstly on the first one and then get into the second one. So the first part is, it's around Christmas time. Um, the thing was they didn't play the opening like with the credits and all of that stuff for the opening but instead when the sh the show started they were playing in the background music so sakamoto is trying to um look at people during for trafficking like it was it was trying his debut and then there's these two guys who one of their friends had to had an important um pouring something he had to attend to so their friend couldn't, was not able to meet up with them because they were going to go to a mixer so they needed a third guy and they picked up Sakamoto despite him being a, a high schooler and these two males were I, at least um, college students so they go to the mixer and they meet up with the three females all very pretty ladies and they're there and they're trying to impress them while at the same time trying to make Sakamoto look bad. Like, yo, he's the odd one, so don't fall for him, fall for us. And at first, the females were like, you know, I can't fall for this guy because he looks weird. And why is he wearing a school uniform, which the guys lied about saying that he's cosplaying for his job. And they go in trying to, you know, impress these ladies, like, such as, you know, what type of jobs they hope to aim for in the future, whereas Sakamoto says he's hoping to go into NASA and try to find a way to make everyone move from Earth to another planet that they can inhabit. And it goes to the part where, like, you know, he's impressing the ladies so much, you know, not only the girls in his school, but he can impress ladies anywhere, anyhow that they tried to make Sakamoto embarrass himself when it got to the part of um karaoke where he was singing before he was he was singing they made him drink 100% cola which is supposed to make you kind of gassy and burp a lot so he was singing a song in German and of course they didn't the females didn't find that to be you know cute or anything and they were actually quite turned off but as he as Sakamoto was continuously singing um they found that to be impressive and the funniest thing is that Sakamoto drawed in like a herd of other females out of nowhere like they were so impressed with what he was singing even though you could not understand the language they were so impressed by that they just they it, it was it was like harmony going through their ears and the, the weirdest thing about that um first part of the episode was like when they was trying to get a karaoke song and there was like they one of the guys he stopped his friend from trying to impress the girls then you start hearing this sax sound and saying who's playing sax music Sakamoto is using his arm and you know like how sometimes you would suck your arm like you try to get that red spot that's what Sakamoto's doing and it's coming out making the sax sound so it's called the sax arm which I completely found so weird and so random but I'm like you know what forget it this is Sakamoto this guy this is a random show it, it'll leave you like questioning about your sanity on a daily basis as much as you watch this show now it ends with um all the females um you know oh my god this guy is so good and Sakamoto's like I finished my daily um what I need to do now I'm going to leave and then the guys are just left there by themselves now into the second part we see where um, Hayabusa, he actually, his first name is Sho, so his Sho Hayabusa, and he's um, with his father, his single parent father, and his three younger brothers, two of them being twins who look exactly like um, Sh uh, Hayabusa and the other one looking more like his father. Of course, we saw a portrait of his mother. It seems like um, the way they was putting it, it seemed like his mother ran away from the relationship with her, with the father. So, but she's a very beautiful woman. You can see where he obviously got his looks from. He got it from his mother. So his father, he um ch is trying to get back into the dating scene. So what he would try to do was to tell, he was telling Hayabusa to pretend to be a rich boy. Just so that it can ensure that his younger brothers have at least a female figure in the household. So he doesn't, um, Hayabusa has no... In, in any sense at proper etiquette so he asks Sakamoto and the way Sakamoto helps him is he go he draw he he um when they went to wear the suits um rental suits he ordered an extra large suit so that Sakamoto can fit inside and then he you know he that you know do you ever see those videos where the other person's hand is inside the suit or whatever they're wearing and he's you know showing so-called proper etiquette 
and like the lady's really impressed by um the um Hayabusa and what he's capable of doing it got to the part where um Hayabusa was <laughs> forced to eat a snail you know French cuisine they eat snails and like him I would probably throw up if I had to eat that as well and then when the chef came out and asked him how do you think about this meal and he and the lady was like you know tell him it was delicious in French he was about to give the wrong answer but because Sakamoto knows all of these things about etiquette he spelled excellent in French on the on his plate and it like impressed the chef so the lady was so impressed by it and then like Hayabusa is about to go home and then he sees his father being cornered by all these gang people like him and his him and his date being cornered by these thugs who look like they want to mug his father so Sakamoto and um, Hayabusa switch places Sakamoto doesn't know how to fight but instead um, he has, he, you know, they switch places and then Hayabusa finish all these thugs and we see the lady just standing there and it's actually she is someone that goes around and tries to win men out their money and I guess she's the one that called all of these thugs to come and ambush his father. So Sakamoto, what he does is like, you know what happens, he tells the story of what actually happened at the restaurant without actually telling anybody's names. And after eating all of these French cuisines, which he's not used to, it make you mutate, looking like you got extra arms coming out. Everybody everybody ran away from the scene. Um, Hayabusa's father is, um, faints away. And the episode ends with both of them, you know, a give and a take um, type of relationship. But at the same time, it's like, yo, you did me a favor and I'm going to do you a favor. And I see you as a pretty cool guy. And at the end of the day, Hayabusa is not a bad guy. It's just like, he's just a thug, but he has a really good heart. He, he, he's he's that guy who's a rough around the edges, but he actually has a really good heart because he cares for his family. He will do anything to make sure that they're happy. And hopefully he does end up finding someone who can properly date his dad and it's not someone that's trying to get him for his money. So that was basically it for this week's episode of Sakamoto That's to God. If you saw this week's episode, please do tell me in the comment section below what your thoughts were on it. Um, this The show has not yet ended, but because of the drawback, um, it had to be pushed back a week or so because of what happened, uh, at, least, at least back in March with Kyoto and the... Um, earthquake um that's why sakamoto that's guy is not ending at the time it should end so it's going to end later but we will get eventually to the ending and see how far this show will go at the last episode so again um comment down below and the links are in the description box so i'm kimmy chan of anime legends podcast and i will see you guys later bye